I'm Hannah. Welcome to my channel. So I want to jump right into this video on these three different face masks. So what I wanted to do this video on is face masks with ingredients that you already have at home. A lot of the face masks that I see on the internet have ingredients that you would have to purchase. These three face masks are going to soften your skin. They're going to help with acne, at least in my experience. Um, they'll help reduce acne scars. They're just great for your skin. So for the first face mask, you'll need the following. Cinnamon, nutmeg, honey, and lemon juice. Now it's best to use raw honey, but I just use honey from a bear and it works just fine for me. Also, if you can get your hands on lemons instead of lemon juice, that freshly squeezed lemon juice is better. So what you want to do is you want to mix a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a teaspoon of honey. Mix those four ingredients together. Now I like to apply mine with a flat foundation brush, but you can just use your fingers. Apply the mix to your face and wait for like 20 minutes. Now I do want to give you guys a warning. The first time I used this face mask, it burned a lot on my face. It still burns a little bit when I use it, but that's the ingredients working together to clean out your pores. This face mask for me, it helped with my acne scarring, it softened my skin, and it brightened my skin. The great thing is, it's all natural ingredients that aren't going to be harmful. Chemicals, harmful to your skin. A lot of the face masks out there that come in jars, that come in packets, they might help your skin, but they also do contain chemicals that can break you out and that just aren't good for your body. The second face mask I want to talk about is an oatmeal and honey face mask. So here's how you make it. Mix equal parts of oatmeal and honey in your blender. If you don't have a blender, just mash it all up really well with a fork. What you want to do is you want to make a paste that goes easily onto your face. If you don't mash the oatmeal or put it in a blender, you're going to end up with big chunks of oatmeal on your face and it doesn't go on very evenly. You want to put this paste all over your face and let it sit for around 20 or 30 minutes or until it starts to dry a little bit. Then you rinse it off. It's great for your skin. It's super, super hydrating and moisturizing. Third face mask, baking soda. Just baking soda and a little bit of water. So what you want to do is you want to take baking soda and water and form kind of a thick paste. So what I do with mine is I just apply it to the areas where I have acne or acne scarring. I kid you not, the first time I used this face mask, I already saw my acne scars fading. It's really, really amazing and super, super simple and cheap. enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.